right there, guys. How's it going? So, we've had some news break today regarding Liverpool, Adrian, uh, Thiago, and then also we've had, I've just seen now on The Athletic, uh, who could be potentially replacing Adrian in the Liverpool squad. So, before I get to that, I just want to give you a bit of housekeeping news. Tomorrow night, quarter past seven, I will be live on here, on X, on Twitch at twitch.tv slash live for AKM Live episode eight, where I'll be talking about the Copper America, the Euro, um, Liverpool players, what they've been getting up to, what the stats are like, uh, any transfer links that pop out that I need to talk about, um, and then a few other bits and bobs also, we'll be talking about them. So guys, if you do like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to give me your thoughts on what I'll be covering just now. So let's go through it in, let's say, chronological order, shall we? So first and foremost, guys, we had the news breaking today at three o'clock from Fabrizio Romano, and he's running this as an exclusive, that Thiago Alcantara has decided to retire from professional football. The former Barca, Bayern, Liverpool and Spanish player has made his decision. Thiago's passion and love for the game continues as he's ready for the next chapter in football. After a few months planning for it. This English is really bad. <laughs> um... So, yeah, guys, sounds like Thiago has known ever since he was injured that this was it. Um, he's been planning for his next steps. I have have heard or seen on, you know, around on social media that apparently Liverpool offered him a contract to stay on as a coach. Whether that's true or not, I'm not so sure. We know that Liverpool obviously have some um, positions to fill at the coaching level. Uh, Arna Slot covered that in his press conference. Um, so let's wait and see. Yeah, I could see him turning up at Barcelona under Hansi Flick or potentially at Man City under Pep Guardiola. Um, but we'll see. Uh, Thiago's career, like for me, he was one of the best midfielders I've ever seen. You know, I followed him since he was he broke through at Barca. I remember always loaning him at Liverpool <laughs> um, from Barcelona when he was about 18, 19 years of age. Um, I think his best years probably were at Bayern Munich. Um, and then, unfortunately, when he's come to us, he's, he, the injuries have just wrecked his career with us, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, he was magnificent to watch and play, for, in my opinion. One of the best midfielders I've seen play the game, not just in the Premier League, obviously, but um, in Europe. So, yeah, that's that good one, guys. Obviously, Thiago goes with our best wishes and everything. Um, just came to us at the wrong time, I reckon, um, in regards to all that. Oh, look at that. Elise is signed for Bayern Munich. Sold in his shirt up and everything now. Uh, next, the guys, we also had this from Fabrizio Romano at two minutes past seven, saying that Adrian rejects Liverpool's proposal to stay at the club and he leaves as a free agent. Liverpool confirms Adrian will become new Real Betis player as revealed 10 days ago, which we covered on this channel, uh, which led to me basically talking about did Liverpool potentially have a goalkeeping crisis on their hands? You know, Adrian leaving, the rumours surrounding Kelleher, if he was to go, what would happen for Liverpool? Do they need to go out and sign two uh, goalkeepers, one of them being an experienced one? Like, you know, we've, we've heard rumblings of Alex McCarthy from Southampton. Is he going to be someone Liverpool potentially look at? Um, let's wait and see. But sticking with Adrian for a little bit, his best moments for me was probably... Uh, that save he did against Napoli, um, the the Super Cup, you know, when he say, when he won us that basically, didn't he? Was it a penalty or something like that? I can't remember. A uh, penalty shootout, yeah. Um, yeah, they were probably his best moments for us. But, you know, we've got the Liverpool statement as well, which goes on to say that Adrian departs Liverpool this summer, having made a valuable contribution to the club's successes across his five years at Anfield. A popular figure among teammates and staff alike, which I think is the most important bit here. Adrian leaves the Reds with the best wishes of everybody at the club. Thank you for everything. So, yeah, this bit here about him being a popular figure among teammates and staff alike, hes that's a void, guys. Even though he doesn't play, his presence behind the scenes would have had a positive effect, like very much similar to probably like James Milner uh, when he was here. Um, so, you, yeah, we're probably going to need to get Someone in that's just like him, I would say. Um, just even for the back room, do you know what I mean? So let's wait and see what happens there, I guess. But we have had a slight update, shall we say, um, from James Pierce, And it is somebody I mentioned in the video that I think I titled Liverpool Goalkeeping Crisis? Question <laughs> mark. Not saying that we was, 
because a lot of people started giving me a bit of shit in the comments because they didn't understand the meaning of the video. But anyway, um, James Pierce has basically got a section here saying that with Adrian moving on, Adrian moving on, Liverpool intend to promote young goalkeeper Jaros or Jaros or Varos, depending on how you pronounce his name and his tongue, uh, to Anna Slot squad. The 22-year-old is currently on holiday after being part of the Czech squad at the Euros. Jaros Faros enjoyed an excellent loan spell in Austria where he did the league and cup double. Now, again, in that video where I got a lot of shit, um, I covered his stats. As James Pierce says there, he won the league and the cup double in his season in Austria. So he's got a winning mentality, still only young. I guess he'll come in as third choice just now, depending on what happens with Kelleher. If Kelleher was to move on, does he become then second choice? And then we get that experienced goalkeeper like an Alex McCarthy to just help out behind the scenes and stuff. I don't know, guys. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think on all of this. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think on all of this. And um, just a quick reminder as well, I guess, the AKM Live episode will be live tomorrow night, quarter past seven, on here, on Twitch, on X. Go over to the YouTube channel, click that notification bell on the stream that I've already got um, planned in the up and coming section or something like that, just so you'll get a notification when we go live. So then guys, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought about all this, and I'll catch you in the next one.